Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. This is an alternative to winter sowing your onions. If your ground is frozen, you have snow on the ground, it's great to use the milk jugs, that works. Here in Maryland Zone 7, sometimes my ground is frozen, sometimes it isn't. But here, middle of February, it's still too early for onions. But I can grow my onions in a small space under the cover of this plastic shoebox, get my transplants, and then spread them out across here when the temperatures are better. Because my ground sometimes is frozen, sometimes it isn't, I was able to set up this space. First thing you want to do is any plastic shoe box, anything that's clear that's going to let light in, is perfect to use. Press it in so it makes a mark. You want one hole in there for airflow, let some of the moisture out. You're going to water this once when we put the seeds in if the soil's not already moist. Because of the size, when it rains, water will just seep in from the side side so we don't need to do anything but leave this on for six or eight weeks so we know it's going to be a rectangle about that size a little bit of compost across the top that's all they're going to need and just loosely work in the compost a little bit of alfalfa from when i did the video on the alfalfa you can use alfalfa pellets to fertilize your garden i will link that video in the video description just loosen it up we're going to take our onions it's going to be a whole pack in a space like this they're not going to be growing to size or anything like that. We're not worried about bulbing. We just want these to grow six or eight weeks. The warmth from the clear shoe box will allow these to germinate. We don't need grow lights. We don't need to do anything indoors. We just leave them here and everything is going to be perfect six weeks from now. All right, so we put in the seeds well. I mean, this space is really overseeded. Work them into about I don't know, quarter inch or something like that, and just pat it down. Again, if it's dry, you could water it in. That's all you do. I'd like to kind of put a seal around there. Just let this be. Six or eight weeks, you'll have onion transplants. You can send them throughout the bed at that point in time. I like doing the onions outdoors because I don't have to do anything inside. But they're also getting shorter day sunlight, which means they're going to recognize that they're not getting enough sunlight to bulb up. They're just going to concentrate on being transplants. They'll get to a good size. We'll spread them out. As summer approaches, the days will get longer. The longer days, the more sunlight will tell these to bulb up. Everything will be great. This is an alternative again to winter sowing when your ground's not frozen, when you don't have snow on the ground. I'll be doing this a lot for onions throughout my garden this year. Thanks for watching. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com. And you just need a little footprint like that to start your onion seedlings. You can also do this with leeks.